group felt he was holding... Brisbane went into the final series with four straight losses and the question mark about their ability to handle Waverley's vast acreage. In round 17, the Saints had kept the Lions to five goals. This assignment would be far tougher. 50,000 were there on the Sunday and many didn't like the trend. Peter Everett was looking ominous. Two of the Saints' first four goals. Dangerously into the forward line. Danger for the Lions. They attack the ball though. But they all go down. Hall sits it up to the left foot of Everett. He's wandered down. He's gone bang with a big left leg. It's home. Calf injury. And has missed the last five games. In between wing and half forward for St Kilda. Down goes Fletcher. Little Topo gets it to the 50. Johnson, you're under pressure. Hand pass to Hall. Hall hand pass to Winmark. This is close. Goal! I reckon it's over. Well, the breeze might help this ball in, but it's nearly the proverbial impossible angle. Centering kick. Off hands to Heatley. Kick partly smothered. Bamford. There's been a lively inclusion late in the season for the Lions. His kick sits up for Harvey. He'll still keep getting the ball, injured or not. Off to Winmark. 55 metres out. Oh, good kick by Nicky Winmark. Everett. Mark Cade. Mark right on the line to Peter Everett. Because we see Robert Harvey receiving some more attention too from one of the St. Kilda trainers. Everett for his second. Yeah, the conditions down here, it's um, still very windy. It's probably about a three or four goal breeze to, that, to the St Kilda end, but it's very swirly, so it's difficult to judge at ground level out in the, in the field. But if you look at the, uh, the flags, it's definitely a three to four goal breeze. So with under five minutes of play left, Peter Everett comes out of that contest holding his left shoulder. It would be a costly day. Ruck giant Peter Everett down with a broken collarbone. Heatley in trouble with an ankle. Harvey had hurt his back. At half-time, the Lions led by five points. The Saints in accuracy costly. This was tough, back-to-the-wall stuff. Harvey the second down towards Burke. Surges through, a quick kick out. There's space, but there's Lions. The three of them hold front position. Bamford in front of Jones, taking the ground in the tackle. That's dropping it. 20 goals, 8 for the season, so accuracy really is his forte. He'll kick from right on 50, guides the ball with the assistance of the breeze. Saints have their first of the second half. Alves and his match committee made the moves. Match-winning ones, it turned out. Lowe went into the ruck, where he would dominate. Darrell Wakeland moved forward to cover the injured Heatley. Keogh was swung into the game and onto the ball. Gowes keeps it alive, searching it forward. Grips, eyes off the ball momentarily, but wins it on the second occasion. Out to Harvey, breaking across half, halfback Robert Harvey. Out into the path of Thompson. Doesn't get to that player. Serikoski tries to keep it alive. Does. Brown, left foot to Daniels. He's played on. Called that way by the umpire. The right foot deep into the pocket for Wakeland. Hard against the line. Keeps it in. Handball's back in board. Keo, he's kicked two. He's going for three. He could be the hero. Inside 50. Thompson waits at the back. Might have taken a mark. Oh, overrun by Dion Scott. Thompson! Ran out of teammates. Scott. Well, they've lost it now. Hall with an opportunity. Intercepted the handball. He's curled it back with the freeze. Great goal, Barry. So Stewie Lowe, hoping to get his 50th goal here today, but shan't get it because he's been asked to do all the ruck work. Harvey just starting to weave something into the game. The amount of time this man can create is quite incredible. The kick to Hall. Right on the 50-metre line. There's two Saints down here. Which one wants it? Stewie? So Stuart Lowe now with the opportunity. 35 metres out, on the angle, Stewie's got one. White has been picking up Tony Brown most of the day, and here he is contesting in the ruck. They've lost control, Thompson! Good hand pass, Wakeland! It gets there! 
An eight goal third term and seven more in the last ensured St Kilda's safe path through to the preliminary final. Hamstring injury, but Harvey comes through on the left. He's got it. But what a cost. Everett, a sad sight. Meanwhile, it was the last supper for St Spider Everett, a fractured collarbone ending his season. When I stood up, I felt it like you know two bones rubbed together. So I thought, I'm just going to walk straight off here. There's something wrong here. So. 